Namaste guys and welcome to our vinyasa flow. My name is Alice and today I'm gonna guide you to a beautiful Sri Lankan yoga practice in this amazing place called Oya Retreat. So let's start in a standing position, keeping the spine straight, open the chest, relax the shoulders and leave your arms along the body. You can close your eyes or you can keep them open if you want. Start to take deep and long breaths through the nose. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. If it feels good, start to gently rotate your neck just to feel a little bit of uh, movement and stretches around your body parts to prepare yourself for your yoga practice, for your physical practice. You inhale to lift your head up and you exhale to lower it again. Start to rotate the shoulders, deep breath in, squeeze them up, exhale, you bring them down, you keep moving. These movements can be as fast or as slow as you want. Inhale, lift, squeeze them up towards the ears and exhale slowly down. Same thing on reverse, inhale, up, exhale, push them forward. You keep doing it, inhale, up and exhale, down. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms all the way up and exhale through the nose, bring your hands in prayer in front of the chest. Same thing, inhale, exhale slowly down. Once more, inhale, lift, extend your body and exhale slowly, come back down. Take a deep breath in, start to lift on your tippy toes, twist your arms in and see if you can pull your shoulders as high as you can. You really want to lift yourself as much as possible, try not to lose the balance. Focus, exhale, slowly bring your heels back down on your mat. We're going to start to do a little bit of um, warm up for the legs. So take a deep breath in, lift your arms up, exhale, slowly lower yourself down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, look forward, keep your spine straight and exhale, fold again. Remember, you can do this movement with bent legs. And it doesn't matter if your hands don't touch the floor. Do it as it feels good to you. Inhale, lengthening the spine, look forward and exhale, fold Uttanasana. Start to feel your hamstrings lengthening. Now interlace the fingers behind your back. We're going to do the same thing. Inhale, looking forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, gaze forward. Exhale, flex your hips and fold. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Nice. Release. Grab your elbows if it feels good. And really start to drop your upper body down towards the mat. Maybe gently shift and rock your upper body to the right and to the left. You really want to feel a heavy head. Move it, say yes, say no. Let go all this stress, all this tension. Maybe drop your arms down and keep moving side to side. A little bit wild, let yourself go. Maybe shake, shake your body. Shake as much as you can, as much as it feels good. Let go. And then slowly, slowly roll your back to come back into standing position. Mm, so good. Come to the top of the mat. Prepare into your... Samastitihi, standing position. Roll your shoulders once again, keep the chest nice and open. We're gonna start to flow. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, Urvuttanasana, look forward, extend your upper body. Exhale, we jump into Chaturanga Dandasana. Try and hold, upward dog, deep breath in, open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. See if you can press your heels down towards the mat. 
really lengthening uh, your spine and lengthening the back of your legs. Breathe here. Inhale. And exhale, start to feel more grounded, connected to the ground. Deep breath in. Exhale the breath. Look forward, bend the knees, jump or step forward. Inhale, Uttanasana, lengthen the spine. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold again. Inhale, lift yourself all the way up, extend your arms. Exhale, we fold again, Uttanasana. Lengthen the spine, inhale, Uttanasana. Exhale, once again, we jump or step back, Chaturanga, control. Inhale, upward dog, open the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog, heels down towards the mat. Breathe here. And again, same thing, remember your legs don't have to be necessarily straight. You can gently bend your knees if there's too much tension on the hamstrings. Keep breathing here. When you get to your next exhalation, look forward, bend the knees, jump. Inhale, Urdhvuttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, extend, extend your body. And exhale, bring your arms all the way down along the body. We keep moving, same thing, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. We start to flow a little bit more wild now. Focusing on the spine, we inhale to come into plank. Exhale, bend the knees, push the floor away, back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the knees, push the floor, downward facing dog. A little bit faster, maybe. Coming into our vinyasa, if you're ready. And once again, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward dog, deep breath in. Downward dog, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee towards your chest or your head. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Breathe here. Try and keep your shoulders nice and square. We're focusing on the hips right now. Inhale, lengthen the right leg up to the sky again. And exhale, step it forward between your hands. Drop your left knee down. Start to open up the chest, low lunge, deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward, cross your arms, create space. Inhale, open the chest even more. Exhale, lengthening forward. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, leaning forward, drop your hands down, start to lengthen the front leg. Tuck your left toes, exhale, fold. Inhale, find length and look forward. Exhale, chest towards your right thigh. Again, inhale, lengthen, look forward. And exhale, fold. Nice. Coming back into our low lunge, left hand down. We twist, lifting the right arm. Inhale, see if you can really lengthen the right arm. And exhale, see if you can twist your body a little bit more. Gaze, chest, up towards the sky. If it feels good, drop your left knee. Maybe grab your foot or your ankle. And give a little stretch to your left hip as well as your left thigh. Coming back, straight into our plank. Chaturanga Dandasana with one leg if it feels good. Full vinyasa up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same, same on the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest or head. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knee. Open the hip. 
hold again push the floor away with your hands shoulders are square creating space on this left hip right now nice guys inhale lift the left leg up and exhale step it forward between your hands same thing low lunge creating space on the chest deep breath in open and exhale lengthen forward inhale again open the chest exhale leaning forward last time inhale open the chest and exhale leaning forward drop your hands down lengthening the front leg inhale exhale fold inhale exhale fold really feel this left hamstring lengthening your whole body active engaging with your breath coming back forward into low lunge we keep the right hand down we start to twist over the left side lengthening through the arms when you inhale twisting the body when you exhale gaze chest up facing the sky drop your left knee grab your foot and keep twisting breathing holding the pose then slowly release stepping back into plank exhale chaturanga with one leg inhale upper dog open the chest exhale downward facing dog nice guys keep moving inhale exhale bend the knees push the floor away down dog inhale feel your spine curving bend the knees push the floor away down dog last time plank exhale bend the knees push the floor downward facing dog okay once more coming into chaturanga upper dog and back to downward facing dog some yogic food let's bring this fire up inhale plank exhale chaturanga upper dog inhale downward dog exhale last time and exhale downward facing dog very good start to move a little bit creating space uh, around the outer thigh we inhale moving to one side the dropping the left hip down exhale down we're facing dog same same and maybe using the arms creating space and circulating rotating the shoulder up inhale exhale down we're facing dog very good breathe here anytime you feel tired you can always stop so try not to force yourself too much this is quite a dynamic flow and then when you're ready bend your knees again moving forward Urdhvuttanasana inhale exhale Uttanasana coming all the way up lift your hands lift your arms exhale bring your hands to the chest back to Samastitihi nice deep deep breaths through the nose really start to feel this prana this life force this energy within you growing making you feel stronger physically as well as mentally when you're ready once again lift the arms up exhale fold uttanasana inhale urvuttanasana and exhale back to chaturanga dandasana upper dog open the chest exhale downward facing dog heels down to the mat look forward bend the knees jump crossing your legs drop the butt down coming into seated position focusing a little bit more on our legs and our lower body part coming into seated position tucking the chin under and really pressing you with your, with your shoulders and your hands down towards the mat so really trying to create this space between your shoulders everything is active in this pose inhale lift the arms up and exhale now we can come into our Paschimottanasana if it feels good grab your big toes inhale lengthen and exhale again flex your hips lean forward try to keep your spine nice and straight guys 
doesn't matter if we don't bring the chest down to the thighs, but it's important that we really work on the hip flexion rather than curving the back. And again, remember to connect the movements with the breathing. Inhale, lengthening, and exhale, folding. Maybe going a little bit deeper, deep breath in, lengthen the arms, exhale, arms along the body. Nice, guys. Coming into Purvuttanasana now. If this is too much, you can come into reverse tabletop position. Otherwise, we stay here, pushing the floor with your hands and really pressing the soles of your feet down. Engage with your glutes. This is really good for the lower back. Let's add some fire. See if you can lift one leg at a time. Try not to collapse with your body. Really press and push your hips higher. See if you can do it with your other leg. Really breathing, really engaging with the whole body. And then slowly coming back down. Nice, guys. Cross the legs. We jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog. Open the chest. Downward dog. Exhale. Heels down. Look forward. Bend the knees. Once again, cross your legs, coming into seated position. Let's go into our Navasana, boat pose, engaging with the core, keeping the spine straight. You can bend your legs, you can keep them straight, or you can just play around as I'm doing here, one leg at a time, shifting the balance from side to side, but maintaining that state of focus, of connection with your body. Breathe. Cross your legs back. Nice, guys. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward dog, open the chest. Downward dog. Heels down. Very good. Coming back into our movement, our flow, spinal flow from plank. Push the floor back to downward facing dog so really engaging with the whole body here why not let's do some more vinyasas <laughs> if it's too much again guys you can come into child pose anytime i always like to push myself a little bit more so i add some yogic food some uh, vinyasas some chaturangas into my flow and back to downward facing dog Look forward once again, bend the knees. We jump into seated position and then slowly we drop our back down. Oh, feels good to stay down and lie down on the mat. But it's not finished yet. Let's come into our bridge position. So really try and press once again the soles of your feet. See how the arms are along the body pressing down but you can also interlace your fingers and really press your arms even more you will notice that your hips will lift even higher engage with your glutes squeeze them together lift as much as you can if you want come straight into your wheel if it's in your practice stay keeping the chest open opening the shoulders we're gonna do these movements with our feet now so inhale lifting the feet and pressing gently your body, your chest forward and exhale slowly coming back down. Nice. Ooh. Grab your knees and gently move your body from side to side, massaging your back, which worked quite a lot. And relaxing your lower back. Give it a gentle massage, rotating your legs from side to side. Mm, this should feel really, really good. Let's come into a spinal twist, which is always, always good after any back bends. It's actually one of my favorite. You can come into uh, double cross legs as I'm doing here, uh, but make sure that you have your shoulders pressing gently down on the uh, ground and your head facing the other side of your legs. You can also just like cross your legs, move it gently, shift your hips from one side, and we do the same on the other side. Taking breaths to 
really reconnect with this prana that you created with this energy. Lifting now, legs, arms, give a little rotation to your ankles and to your wrists. And now stretch the body as much as you can, really tense and then let go. Ooh, this feels good. Start to make your way into Shavasana, your final position, your corpse pose and allow yourself to relax, focusing on your breath, focusing on its, this energy that you created within you, feeling this fire, this warmth, this light spreading all across you, all around you. Allow yourself to stay into your meditative state for as long as you wish. Thank you guys. Namaste.